we're gonna go ahead and do a coral look. This might be a long video, okay? I'm just gonna say. So I am going to go into, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, oh! This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. Good God almighty color right here called Orange Soda. So I'm gonna go in with that on a fluffy brush and just put that in my transition area. It's really pretty, very soft. So I'm gonna go in with a color right underneath Orange Soda called Burnt Orange, and I'm gonna start to deepen up. So I'm kind of going in from the inner corner of my eye and sweeping it across to the outer corner of my eyebrow. Just a soft sweep, just like that. It's very pretty. And then I'm gonna deepen it, deepen it a little bit with a color Rustic and sort of sweeping it up. And then whatever's left on the brush, just kind of bringing it to the inner part of the brow, but really lifting up my eyes and concentrating most of that color Rustic right in the crease and then bringing it up and bringing it in to the brow. And this really does give you um, a different shape to your eye and it also enhances your socket. If you lack a deep socket, which I do, this will sort of, the shape will sort of mimic a deeper socket eye. So make sure you bring it into the inner corner, just lightly underneath the beginning of the brow all the way out to the end of the brow. And it looks completely, completely crazy but you'll see when it's done that it's not completely crazy. So going in with Cypress Umber, going in with Cypress Umber, which is one more shade darker, really tapping off, and I'm just concentrating that right here in the bottom of the crease. If you need to, if you need help finding your crease, just tilt your head back. And just using the point of that brush, there is my bottom of my bone, and really getting it in there. And I'm not gonna bring this too far out or in, but just enough to sort of blend it. This looks terrifying, I know, but hang in there. Do you see how completely crazy you look? So going back in with the blending brush, and I'm just going to softly blend all of this, just to give it a little bit, you'll see a little bit of a change here. Pulling what's in the crease up, and then just slightly blending. You can even run a little bit of this down the sides of the nose just to give you a little bit of extra depth. Okay, now I wanna go in with, into the back into the Soft Glam pal palette, I'm gonna go into the color Tempura, which is right here, the lightest color, matte, and I'm gonna put that all over, all over the lid, and sort of this inner corner area. I don't wanna blend out too much um, into the crease, so just very lightly touch it in here, just sort of feather it into what is, it, what is in the crease, because you wanna keep that crease kinda of dark, even though you look like a bit of an a-hole. Just just hang in there. Okay, somewhere along the way, um, the video cut out. So I am going back in and refilming. Yes, I said it, re, refilming. Part of this video. I had to basically wipe all of my mascara and eyeliner off. I'm trying to get back to where I was before. The video cut out completely. I don't know what happened. Uh, I think my camera overheated because it's a little bit warm in the studio today and uh, I've got a lot of lights on and nonsense going on. So anyway, I'm trying to get back to where I was so that I can refilm this look because uh, I really want to show you guys this sort of Pantone color of the year look. So I think this is about where I was when the video cut out, okay? So we're gonna pick up right now. I am going in with the Ulta Single Eyeshadow. This is the color Key West. Very, very shimmery, sort of light turquoise. And I'm going to, with my finger, put that all over my lid and a little bit kind of in that whole inner area where it, it's very light. Just very lightly bringing it up, but not completely into this crease area. You wanna kind of keep that crease dark. Do you see? Now it looks crazy, I, I will grant you that. Boy, my eyes are blood red having to make take that makeup off. As you can see, here it is. <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, moving on. Going into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with this top turquoise color right here. And I'm going to place that sort of on the outer side of the eye, outer corner. And I don't really wanna wing it too much out. It's sort of not a 
good wing color, but there is that space here where I could if I wanted to, but I think I'm not, I'm gonna try to rein it in, but I'm just gonna pack that on, making sure not to get too much into the crease. Mostly just this sort of soft cut crease lid space. Then for the center of the eye, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop. This is a ColourPop a Super Shock Shadow, and the color is called Banana Daiquiri, and it's beautiful. I'm gonna take it on my ring finger, just like this, as you can see, and I'm gonna tap that right, sort of where that lighter color shimmer turquoise and the matte turquoise meet, sort of in the center of the eye, bringing it ever so slightly towards the inside, but not all the way to the inner corner. Just like that, really simple. Sorry, you guys, my eyes are super red because I'm filming this twice. Let me zoom you guys out, just, just, just a smidge. I do want to put on a nice pair of fluffy false eyelashes, so I wanna make sure that I line my upper lash line. I'm going with the, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio. I think this is Maybelline. Yeah, this is the little, a little Maybelline uh, gel ink pot. Um, and the color is just it's just black and I'm taking a super pointy. I want to begin with the pointy edge and I'm going to lightly line, really darken up this eyelash line, making sure I get it in between my lashes. And I'm gonna just sort of tease that color into the inner corner a little bit. I'm going to curl my lashes and put a couple of coats of black mascara on and put my lash glue on. I'll be right back. Okay, while the eyelash, yeah. Why the eyelash? While the eyelash glue is getting tacky, get it together, Jeanette. I am using the SOSU, which stands for Suzanne Johnson. Hello, Suzanne Johnson. Uh, premium lashes and the style is called Sarah. And these are 100% human hair, which that grosses me out more than animal hair. I don't know why. I think I want to go in and make my eye, upper eyelash a little bit thicker. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I think I want to do a very, very, very slight kitten wing here. So just following sort of that same line, I'm just going to go like this and make a little tiny triangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these lashes on. So I'm gonna give you guys nice a nice close up on how I put my lashes underneath my eyelashes. When you put your eyelash glue on, you put it, you wanna make sure if you're going to be wearing your eyelashes underneath your natural eye, you wanna make sure that you put your eyelash glue on the top of the eyelash band. The eyelash turns like this, the eyelash glue is on the top. I'm using the House of Lashes eyelash glue. So I'm gonna put my magnifying mirror. So you want to Look up and back, can you see me? Gently lift up your eye and place the center at the base of your eyelashes, not on your waterline, just the base of your eyelashes and then position them and get them stuck on to your natural eyelashes and give them a little push. Now the problem with me is that I don't have a lot of eyelashes on the inner corner of my eye, so when it gets to that point, it's sort of funky looking, but you can't really see it, I hope. I don't know. Maybe you can. And you can put some more eye, you can put some more mascara on to sort of blend them in, but basically that is it. So let's finish up the bottom before we go any further. I am going to take that same lash gel, or gel uh, eyeshadow, gel eyeliner oh my god such an ass and just bring that I'm not bringing it, it in all the way so that is the outer corner it's a little bit graphic looking eyeliner but we're gonna soften that out right now I think I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop super shock in the turquoise and just run that right underneath the black and I think that actually that turquoise is not like my favorite color on the bottom. So I'm going to go in back into the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette in the color Sienna. This color right here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Run that down here. I mean, I still have the... Okay. Is this just not my filming day? Yeah, that looks much better with sort of that brown underneath and this huge black beauty mark. I tell you, you guys, I should have just stayed in bed today. 
<clears throat> kind of retouching up the blush. I'm gonna run a coat of mascara on the bottom lashes. Just a smidgy, like that. So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out a little bit here while I do the lip. Don't need to be all up in my business. You guys don't need to see, um, you know, exploring a nasal cavity with a gun and camera. Okay, for the coral lip, I actually ordered a new lipstick from Beauty Bay and it has not come in yet. What's up with that? I don't know. So I'm using the MAC lip liner in the color Spice. Okay, so when we think of coral, coral is sort of a combination, it's, it's orange basically, it's a combination of sort of a peach and a red. So I have a peach and a red lipstick, by golly. By golly. Okay, so I am going in with the BH Cosmetics. This is the BH Cosmetics and Makeup Shayla collab, and the color is called Wee, 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 Wee. And it's a very, very, very lovely peach. If you have a coral at home, use a coral. If you don't, use a peach. And if you have a red, mix it with red. So I'm taking MAC Ruby Woo. I'm just gonna put it on my lower lip and then mash the lips together. Back in with some Wee. There is a nice coral. And because why not, let's just completely spaz out. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Cream Sheen Color in Coral Bliss. It's not a matte coral, it's a very um, clear sort of coral. It's Cream Sheen by MAC. Any of you who have ever used any of their Cream Sheens kind of know what I'm talking about. Okay, taking down the hair, let's just wrap this disaster of a video up. Anyway, this is the finished look. Hair down, hair big. Um, occasionally, you know, you're gonna see the goofs and the silly nonsense that I get up to. Hashtag, I've always been a bit of an ass. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up so that I know what kind of content you guys are looking for. I hope you're subscribed and you click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I really appreciate it. Love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.